By far one of the most iconic melee weapons to exist, the Terra Blade needs no introduction. Ever since its introduction in 1.2, its usefulness has never been neglected. Unless you're a summoner, nobody cared about you until 1.3. It's a melee's preferred choice after defeating Plantera, always after forcing his friends to suffer through a solar eclipse when they're just trying to prepare and have fun. Of course, you don't just get it from a boss or a mob drop. It's iconic because how it's obtained. It all starts in pre-hard mode, and finally obtainable in hard mode. Almost like my childhood, it's fun to get the materials to get in this part of the game. But in hard mode, it's like my adulthood, mentally draining, constant mental breakdowns, and pain. Besides that, we've got to get to the roots of the creation of the Terra Blade, the Blade of Grass, no pun intended. The materials you need to make it is jungle spores and stingers, 12 for both. That is, if you can get enough stingers without being killed by an annoying goddamn spiked jungle slime. After that, it's smooth sailing from there to create the first sword required for the Knight's Edge, a main component for the Terra Blade. The easiest to obtain, and subsequently the most useless, sword of the original four, the Blood Butcher, because no one's choosing corruption to get cursed flames in hard mode when Ikor is better. The Blood Butcher is made with tissue sample and crimtain ore. This sword is so boring I don't even have a proper joke for it, so let's just get to the next sword needed. Of course, next up is the Muramasa, not to be confused with the Murasama from Calamity. The Muramasa is obtainable after searching through the entire dungeon, opening every golden chest, but getting the magic missile. You'll most likely use this and then completely abandon it just to make the Knight's Edge. Just remember, the developers made this for variety in pre-hard mode, and you're using it to make a weapon that makes you forget that this weapon existed. The Volcano, or as it was previously called, the Fiery Great Sword, is made with 20 Hellstone bars. Have fun trying to get Hellstone ore while having to deal with enemies trying to harass you and prevent you from making progress. The sword itself has undergone several changes with its sprite, the name, and its damage. It is truly a formidable sword in pre-hard mode until it's replaced with the Knight's Edge 1 boss fight later. And now, for the final thing that needs to be made in pre-hard mode, unless you're a fucking idiot who hasn't been following along, the Knight's Edge, crafted with the Blade of Grass from the jungle, the Blood Butcher, because we ain't no dumb cursed flames pussy, Muramasa from the dungeon, and finally the Volcano, or the Fiery Great Sword, if you're playing on T-Mod Loader, with all of that, you can make this one-of-a-kind sword, the strongest weapon for melee players in pre-hard mode, so powerful and worth the struggle. Now that you've killed the Wall of Flesh with your new Knight's Edge, it's time to only use it when you start it off and then replace it with better choices like the Blade Tunge or Banana Rag. Now that you've got your adamantite armor, even though you wished for titanium ore, you can finally battle the mech bosses and get hallowed bars to craft the Excalibur sword. A sword, like many others, that you won't be using at all, and only for the purpose of getting it upgraded immediately, thanks to the fact they changed the recipe for it. Speaking of the recipe for the true Excalibur, you will only be needing at least 24 chlorophyte bars instead of the classic broken hero sword meaning this sword is obtainable before Plantera. After all mech bosses are beat and dealt with, you can make the last required sword to make such legendary weapon, using all of the souls of the mech bosses, 20 souls of fright, 20 souls of sight, and 20 souls of might. With the Knight's Edge, you can make the true Knight's Edge, a very good upgrade to the already amazing pre-hard mode sword. All that's left for you to do is to beat Plantera, and the final pathway to crafting the Terra Blade will be unlocked. Now, once a solar eclipse begins, you start by trying to beat fucking Mothron, who, just like my chances of getting a girlfriend, won't fucking drop the goddamn broken hero sword. I'm getting tired of beating and killing it over and over, but not one single fucking time will the bitch ever drop that sword. I fucking hate doing this, I fucking hate Mothrun, and I hate getting the shitty-ass Terra Blade. This game is such utter bullshit, 
I've had three fucking eclipses in a row and not once did it drop it. Fuck this game and fuck you.